Alright, what's good, y'all? We'll be back with another reaction video today. Today we got the um, Buccaneers versus the Raiders. I actually watched this already. I did my reaction. So I might do the video a little different. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see. Might do more of a commentary style. I don't know. But we're going to see how it turns out. Um, but yeah, I watched this game already. And like. I recorded my reaction and then I looked and saw that my camera had cut off, so yeah, it didn't record it. So that's all good though. I'll let you check that later. But uh, yeah, man. So it's not much of a reaction because I've seen it already, so it's not live, but the throw. Nelson definitely, bro, has been playing so so well, bro, so so well this season. So I gotta, I gotta give him his props right there. I guess I try to, I'll try to let it play, but not too much. That was a great catch, bro. That was a great catch. It seemed like everything Nelson just like everything they've been throwing his way this year. Catch, 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 catch. Good sneak. Um, yeah, man, I noticed what they did a lot. They rotated a lot with Leonard and, and uh, Ronald Jones. I was surprised because normally, like, the, the past two, maybe two or three games, Ronald began almost all of the carries, bro. Like, almost all, so... I was kind of surprised by that. That was an iffy throw to me. Like, he threw that with a lot of pressure in his face. That man, Devin White, bro. He is such a big pickup, bro. I did not see him playing like, like, I didn't see him playing out like that at all. Like, the, the, the role that he had. He's just a, a, a huge impact on that defense. He, he's, he's a, what's the word? A cog. He's a cog in that defense. And then what I like. What I like is them. Um, the fact they have two extremely athletic linebackers. Mm. Two extremely athletic linebackers with uh with Devin White and Levante David. Oh, this man grunt, bro. This man grunt. But and it's crazy how things played out with Gronk end up being a starting tight end. Initially, I thought he was gonna be like they was gonna rotate a lot, but with OJ injured, that was a nice play right there. Well, well, OJ injured, that just, you know, that made room. Like, Gronk, here you go. Man, Devin White again. Yeah, but like, you know what I'm saying? Here you go, Gronk. It's, it's, you got it. You got the keys, man. I like this. This is kind of cool. I mean, it's nothing that big, but they got Tyler on the outside, Mike and uh, Chris on the inside, and Scotty on the outside. You know, Scotty the deep threat. Scotty gonna take top off the defense. But I kind of like this. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's threats all over because Tyler Tyler can win a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You put Chris in a slot, whoever covering him giving him a problem, and that is a linebacker. If I'm not mistaken, that's either a linebacker or a safety. One or the two, it looked like 42. And then, of course, Mike. I mean, we already know Mike, but cool thing to see. Scotty, yep. Touchdown. Great deep shot. 
See, in this, that's going to be the weird thing, bro, because it's like, what are they going to do when AB comes? Like, it almost, in my opinion, I feel like you need Scotty on the field, bro. Scotty is a threat at all times. You kind of need him on the field. When AB comes, it's going to be a little, it's going to be different, bro, because, I mean, they could mix it up and have it to where, because, I mean, you kind of want uh, Mike, Chris Godwin, and AB on the field all at the same time, but then it's like, then you, what about your packages with Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette and then Gronk still and then Scotty, bro, like, it's a, it's a, if that coach can figure it out, whoever the OC is, whether it's Bruce Arians or whoever it is, if y'all know who it is, let me know. But if he can, <clears throat> if he can figure it out and make it work, bro, that man deserves a raise because it's, right now, to me, bro, it's like a math equation. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, how are we gonna figure this out to make sure everybody eats, you know what I'm saying? Make sure every matchup is, is right at all times, you know what I'm saying? We have to play chess at all times. Like everybody has to be lined up with a purpose. It's no, it's not we just lining out out there just to to run a play and we giving it to the go-to guy. It's like somebody either you decoy, decoy, uh, second option, first option. You know, it's just it's, they just got too many weapons. They got too many weapons. <laughs> what y'all think about uh? What y'all think about Carlton Davis, bro? He's been having a good season. How y'all feel about him, Bucks fans? Yeah, Scotty. Mm -mm -mm. That boy Nelson, bro. Like I said, just having an amazing season, bro. Being very efficient. He, Darren is Darren, but you know, like he, he's he's clearing his name up for all the drops he had last year, bro. I feel like everything they throw his way is. Catch big play. He even he looks a lot faster this year, in my opinion. He looks a lot faster this year too. So, seems like he just upgraded as a receiver. That's crazy to me. Mike's first catch came in the fourth quarter, and I don't think it's you know I don't. Scotty man, I don't think it's the fact that they was taking him out the game like that uh, on the, the Raiders part. I think just, you know what I'm saying? It was going to Chris, going to Leonard, running the ball, going to Cameron, going to Grunk, going to Scotty a lot. That's just how it played out. So like like I said, like when AB comes, it's gonna be weird. Let me see, let me see. That pass was Antoine Winfield, bro. Dude is having a great season, bro. For, for um, for a rookie, bro. He's having a great season. Uh, good play by the DB. It was a, it was a little too high. It was a little, little, little too high. It was just like that much. Mm. Okay, Chris, you got that? There you go. Ice him on the cake. Brady, 31 for 43, 346 yards and three touchdowns, no picks. Good game. Oh, good coverage. They DBs are nice, bro. The Bucks DBs. And, like, I said this. Uh, this man, Devin, bro, he, he, he nasty, bro. He a dog. He a dog. I ain't gonna lie. He gives me, he gives me Patrick Willis vibes. Patrick Willis, Patrick Willis is a different beast, bro. But he, he definitely gives me Patrick Willis vibes. He got it. It looked like he reached it in there. Uh, 
Tyler, look at, hey, did they, so did, did that one count? Did that, that, that last TD count? Hey Siri, what is the score to Buccaneers versus Raiders? The Raiders were selling. Oh, they counted. Yeah, man. Um, like I said, Tyler, he can win his matchups too, bro. They, they, they. They got such a nice receiving court, like, I like. Like I said, bro, it's on whoever the um the OC is, whoever whoever calls the plays, it's on him to figure that out because if he can do it. It's gonna be hard to stop them, bro. Extremely hard to stop them. But you know, that's 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 gonna be a tough task. But uh, as far as the Raiders go, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know what to think of them. I really don't. We're gonna see how the season plays out. I'm not gonna comment on to comment on them too much, negatively or positively. I really, like, I just don't. I don't have nothing to say. Uh, Bucks. Uh, you know, I mean, we, we know they're gonna be a playoff team, so. You know, that's all I got to say. <laughs> but we will end it there. Appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron! Yeah. Hey, ho. Man amongst boys, I walk with the Lord. Gotta be careful what you say because your tongue is a sword. Why you speaking what I think and ain't no easy.